Tribes by Seth Godin. This is Graham Brown. You're listening to Up School Book Reviews. If you want to find out more about my book reviews, go and check out my free course, upschoolbookreviews.com slash course, where you'll find five of my top recommended books for lifestyle entrepreneurs. It's free. You can do the course in an hour. I save you the heavy lifting of reading so you don't have to. If you've read those books already, even better still. Go ahead and take the course and get more out of those books. Tribes, We Need You to Lead Us by Seth Godin. I'm a big fan of Seth Godin. He's one of the most influential marketers of our time. His work and way of thinking has greatly affected my own. One of Seth's key strengths is his ability to work with one idea. In this case, it's tribes. We all know what tribes are in the social and historical sense, but what relevance do they have to us today as lifestyle entrepreneurs? Well, it turns out that they are more relevant than ever. Not because we are regressing socially somehow, but because tribes are a construct of our true human social nature. That means any marketing, any product we create, any way we touch customers through our business will be influenced by our tribal needs. Bringing tribes into the digital era gives lifestyle business owners a significant advantage over large bureaucratic organizations. We're able to move fast, touch customers at the level of emotion, be more human, and ultimately not be afraid to invite criticism and make mistakes. So, why tribes? When we talk about tribes now, it's not people living in caves or forests. We're talking about people who dress in lycra and go train for Ironman triathlons every weekend. That's my tribe. We're talking about Korean pop fans. We're talking about people who watch BBC's Sherlock. We're talking about vegans, etc. These are fans who cut across traditional marketing demographics. All ages, all genders, all nationalities. They have more in common between each other than they do with people of the same age, sex and location. That makes tribes special. We, we identify with our brothers and sisters and feel that instant emotional connection within the tribe. Lifestyle entrepreneurs need to use that power. Each one of us has a tribe that we can lead. I'll talk about that in a minute. Old is new. A tribe is a group of people connected to one another, connected to a leader and connected to an idea. It's an idea that's as ancient as human civilization itself. Human beings can't help it. We need to belong. We are social by design. Scientists have shown that there are areas in our brain, known as mirror neurons, whose purpose is to reinforce our social behavior. When we see people doing what we're doing, they fire. Mirror neurons are key to our ability to learn social behaviors like morals or language. Being social is also a prudent survival mechanism. We want to contribute to and take from a group of like-minded people. We are drawn to leaders and to their ideas, and we can't resist the rush of belonging and the thrill of the new. Which brings me to the interest economy. A tribe is a group of people connected to one another, to a leader and to an idea. So all that tribe needs is two things a shared interest, and a way to communicate. Now, before the internet, our tribes were defined along the boundaries of nations or belief systems. Today, however, our identities are increasingly becoming defined by our interests rather than our geography. Tribes are joining the dots of shared passions that cross boundaries. So what does this mean to you as a lifestyle entrepreneur? Well, Tribes need leadership. Sometimes one person leads, sometimes more. People want connection and growth and something new. So this is where you come in. You can't have a tribe without a leader and you can't be a leader without a tribe. So if you want to lead, if you want influence, you have to build your tribe. The good news is that the market needs you and the tools are there just waiting. All that's missing is you, your vision, and your passion. Nobody 
elects to become a leader of a tribe, you simply plant a flag and pick yourself. Change isn't made by asking permission. Change is made by asking forgiveness later. Plant a flag for your tribe to rally round and give them a voice. Tell a story. Stories define your tribe. Marketing is the act of telling stories about the things we make, the stories that sell and stories that spread. But you've got to go and break the rules. You have to be a little bit of a heretic. Heretics are the new leaders. They're the ones that challenge the status quo, who get out in front of the tribes, who create movements. And whatever the status quo is, changing it gives you the opportunity to lead a tribe. Changing it gives you the opportunity to be remarkable. As Seth Godin says, leaders make a ruckus. If people criticize your work, you're doing the right thing. Your enemy in the attention economy isn't criticism, but indifference. It's better to be loved by a few than liked by the many. What does 1,000 Facebook likes really do for you anyway? It's all about being missable when you're gone. I would trade 1,000 Facebook likes for one email from one person in my tribe who's read my newsletter, who emails me and tells me that something I've said or something I've written has made a change for the positive in their life. So if you want to start building a tribe, start asking, how can I create something that the critics will criticize? If you want to grow, you need to find customers who are willing to join you and believe in you or donate to you or support you. So how can you do that? Well, a leader can increase the effectiveness of a tribe and its members by a number of ways. Here are three ideas. One, transforming the shared interest into a passionate goal and desire for change. Two, providing tools to allow members to tighten their communications. And three, leveraging the tribe to allow it to grow and gain new members. This isn't about having a great idea. It almost never is. Great ideas are already out there and they're free. No, this is about taking initiative and making things happen. And the good news is, you don't need to change the world to make a difference. In a battle between two ideas, the best one or the biggest one doesn't necessarily win. No, the idea that wins is the one with the most fearless heretic behind it. You only need a thousand true fans in your tribe to put a dent in the universe.